This is the world's tiniest pasta, and it helps heal wounds. The body heals best when cells can crawl over a scaffold that looks and feels like the extracellular matrix, a porous fibrous network extending throughout the body. But mimicking this material usually requires expensive biomaterials, and so most commercial dressings use alternatives that are often too tightly woven and trap moisture, or too porous and let bacteria enter. So researchers at the University of College London set out to see if they could find a solution. The team developed a process where they took ordinary white flour and dissolved it in formic acid to help uncoil the flour's long molecules of starch, essentially pickling it and drawing the starch out into solution. They then used a process called electrospinning, where a liquid filled with long chain molecules, here the dissolved starch, is placed inside a syringe and a high voltage is applied, forming an electric field between the tip of the needle and a metal collection plate. This pulls the liquid into something called a Taylor cone, as the force of repelling molecules compete with the surface tension of the liquid. Then as the liquid is expelled from the syringe, the molecules are assembled and stretched into a tiny charged thread that whips through the air, causing the solvent to evaporate, and producing at the surface a web of tiny nanofibers. Each individual fiber averages about 372 nanometers in diameter, that's about 200 times thinner than a human hair, and as they are made from regular dried flour, they are considered the world's thinnest pasta ever produced. These sorts of material mats could revolutionize wound dressings and scaffoldings to allow the body to heal or just serve as the final form of shrinkflation. Pasta so thin you need an electron microscope to complain about it. If you like science and didn't predict the power of pickled pasta, follow for more.